This program is about fast and physical. It's about tough, hard-nosed football that's taught the right way. It's about an experience of a lifetime, socially, academically, athletically, and spiritually. Uh, that's something that these players can they, they can gain from each and every day. There's something new they're going to learn from each and every day when they come in there. And it's something that we pride ourselves on in teaching and instilling in our football players every single moment of every single day in every interaction. It, it doesn't matter where they are. It can be in the back room relaxing. It can be on the football field. It can be on the meeting field. Uh, but we're going to be a tough-minded football team that loves to get after, loves to win. Typically I wake up around 4.30, 5 o'clock because I go ahead and get to the facility. We're in there, we gotta be there in between 6, 6.30. I wake up about 6 o'clock every day. I make sure my roommate BJ is up, who's another corner. The first thing I do, I wake up, man, I've had a great day, any single day, and I'm, I'm having a great day. So I want that to carry over to our team. It doesn't matter how early or what, to what time we start. It's a great feeling to get up knowing you've got 90 some odd players coming over to your practice facility. You've got your coaching staff there as well, and we're all working towards one goal. And it just gives you a focus for your day. I mean, no other, in this profession, your team kind of, they build off your tempo. And for me to get up any other day would be just an injustice to those guys. When I wake up in the morning, I go to bed at night. I mean, I, I think about this program and I, I think about, you know, you know, Coach Elliott as the leader of this program, the things that he's trying to put in place. And I mean, I'm, I just get super excited about it. When you walk into my office, the first thing I want you to say good morning. You know, it's early in the morning, you know, a smile on your face and a song on your heart. I think that's important, man, because again, I understand we're building young men. All right, you know, it's just, it's, it's bigger than X's and O's. We're building young men and, and I want to love them. I want to coach them hard, but I want, to, I want them to be productive people in our society. It starts early. And one of the great things that we've implemented over there is we're bringing in breakfast the days that we're practicing and catering in lunch as well. So I want to start them off with a great meal. Uh, I want them to understand that we're, we're caring about these guys and what they put in their bodies. The way they're coaching us, they're, they're pushing us really, really hard to a place that we've never been pushed before. And when you finally reach it, it's like, wow, it feels really good because I've reached it, but now I can go get more. I can get more. And that's something they've really showed all of us. Hardest part would definitely be the off-season training. Um, a lot of people don't see what any student athletes go to, but you know, specifically football players, the amount of training and the year-round dedication that it takes. A lot of people just see the end product, and that's you know, the plays being made on the field, but they don't see what it actually took from the meetings, you know, the practice, just the training year-round from the cold, hot winter, summer. It just that's probably the hardest part. We want every guy in the program to feel like you are a very important piece to this puzzle. You know, and you talk about it, uh, you know, you, had, you said something about, you know, me winning a championship before. And the one thing I learned from winning a championship is that everybody gets the ring. Everybody involved in it from, you know, your last player that's going to be able to play for you, you know, to that top player, to the equipment guy, to the trainers, to the video guy, because everybody's a part of it. And we want everybody in the program. That's one thing Coach Elliott stresses, man. I mean, he, he coaches everybody. Kenny, where are you? Defense. You were at your best other day. Quick, first steps, things of that nature. You're playing with effort. You got to do that all the time. You got to understand that. We're going to need that 80, 80, 80, 85 plays a game. You got to have the best summer conditioning of your life. You got to have a high level for Kenny coming out there next fall. Got it? You did good. Good job. Well, let's go out there and make this a better week than it was last week. A Monday better than last Monday. Monday a better than last Friday. We've got to keep developing. You've come a long way as a team thus far. We got to keep going, keep going, keep going, and we will. We will. There's no question about it. You're going to be coached. You're going to be coached hard. And you guys, I want you to play hard and respond hard. Okay? Play hard and respond hard. Compete out there on the edge. You wide receivers and DBs inside, O line, D line. It's about competition. It's about not giving up. It's about wanting more, doing better. It will, I always say, what do you want to be remembered for? You want to be remembered for a guy out there with a lot of missed assignments? Huh? Do you? Is that, that, that's 
thing, or you want to get, get be a guy that's fast and physical and go play. So you got another week, you got another day. Everybody in here has another opportunity. Nothing is ever set in stone, so don't ever think it is, okay? Let's go out attack the day. Let's make sure we're doggone playing fast, playing physical, and the mentality is there, and let's go attack this Monday like we've never attacked Monday before. Y'all got me? Yes, sir. Here we're gonna break down Winchester. Winchester on three. One, two, three. Finish on. You have to do the little things right. And I think those guys are just buying in to what Coach Elliott and our staff is, is bringing to the table. And coaching the offensive line or being a part of the offensive line, you have to understand how important it is. We're the number one group on the field. That's, that's what I tell them. You know, it starts up front. And I don't just say it. I think you have to mean it and actually show it every day. That's going to class, being on time, sitting in the front, and doing the little things right every single day. That's important. One step and then get vertical. You out here hot. Oh, one, two, one, two. Coaching, you know, they're, that's tough on us. Every day they're talking about go to class, or go to your tutors, study hall hours. It's, it's never just about football, because they know football is only a brief part of your life. They know it's a bigger picture, and you're here to get your degree. So they preach to us every day. And uh, just them having our support and them pushing us to go to class, it just gives us that extra boost just to want to do well. When we open up our meetings, the first thing I'm asking you, how was class? Tell me what happened in your psychology class or your sociology class. I think that's important to, to get that feedback from them on an everyday basis and show them you care. You know, one of our things that we always talk about is trust, care, commitment. Can I trust you? Uh, do you care about your teammates and are you committed to excellence? To trust, care, and commit on an, on an everyday basis. Coach Williams is, is really good about being on top of us and knowing exactly what we got going on. Every Thursday, he has an academic report. So he knows every Thursday how we did that week, what our grades are, what we made that week. So on Monday when we come back, he's reading us, look, you gotta do this better, this better, you're doing a great job here. So as far as daily, yeah, he knows exactly what we got and we're always talking. You just never know, you know, when opportunity's gonna knock. You know, that's something I like to talk to the guys about. I tell them all the time, hey man, opportunity's knocking, you know, are you gonna open the door? I say, hey, hey man, can you hear that? Can you hear that? That's an opportunity knocking at the door. You, are you gonna open the door? And when you open it, are you gonna be ready when the opportunity knocks at that door? And so that's that's kind of you know a big part for me is just making sure those guys are ready, not just in football, but in life afterwards. When those opportunities come, you gotta be ready for them. Me, they're like a father figure. I mean, it's open door policy. Whenever you got something you gotta get off your chest, you can just go to them. They're very approachable. So whether it's family issues, you know, something personal, girlfriend, uh, death in the family or just you want to talk ball anytime you can just go and talk to them talk to them about class how you're doing what you're worried about to me it's more of a father figure this isn't like a lot of other jobs I mean, yeah it's tough you know I mean winning is tough in every competition there's a winner and a loser so the winning is going to be a tough thing but it should be I mean that's something everybody in this country wants to achieve everybody in this world wants to achieve when you take on a competition or or some type of contest you want to win and uh, developing the right players, putting them in the right spots, making sure that you've got your coaches in the right areas, coaching them the right positions. That's somewhat uh, tough, but uh, there, there's nothing really hard about it. He's gonna take the point, smash, smash, he's got the point, we got the back guy right here, catch him. Get high, get up! Elbows First. inside the knees. Elbows inside the knees. Hey, Skip, pull your arm! Here we go, let's go, let's go! Well, you gotta you gotta have some uh, some guys on your staff. I mean, they have the same mindset. I mean, everybody's got to be working to be one. I coached against these guys. I've been friends with these guys a long time. I trusted and respected them. Uh, I thought our visions met, and uh, they knew exactly the type of person I was and how I think about football and the ways of being physical and, and playing with great tempo and. Uh, you know, we just uh, went out and, and got the best guys I thought could make the best staff and went for it. And they've, they've really done an excellent job in, in teaching our players that exact fast and physical tempo and that style of play, the tough-mindedness. Very pleased with how it's all come together thus far. You have to take pride in what you do. Tough times don't last, tough people do um, at, at all times. So if, if, you're, if you come with the mindset every single day to work hard, you, you got a chance, you know, because hard work doesn't guarantee success. Without it, there's no chance at all.
whatever you want, it's obtainable. You just have to work for it. Just stay hungry and just stay humble and everything will work out. It's not going to just happen. You have to work for it, but if you put the time, it'll show up and everything will pay off in time. That's something we never had in the past since I've been here. We've never really seen coaches working out with us and the interaction between player and coach. I think pride is, is one thing that uh, you, you've got to go with right now. I think uh, we've instilled a confidence in our players uh, that they're feeling good about themselves. Uh, they're working towards a goal that they, can, they see they, they can achieve. And, uh, you know, that, that's very, very gratifying to see because, you know, when you look at this program, we're going into our eighth year, and there hasn't been an abundance of success here. And uh, when I first got there, there was a lot of, I guess you would say long faces a little bit. They're saying, okay, here comes another change. Uh, but I, I see guys walking around a little bit more. There's, a, there's smiles in their, in their faces. There, there's a sharpness in their eyes when you look at them. Um, they have that pride. I mean, they really do. They're walking taller. They're, they're, you know, it's just a, a confidence about them, and it's something great to see. I see it every single day. I mean, there's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't interact with probably every single player on that football team and I can see it in every single one of them. Let's look it right into the sun. Don't throw the dreaded sinker, please. Didn't want to let y'all get hit the Yeah. Yep. I'm ready. You ready? Alright, better tell us boys they're very protect about it. You met, have you met a gym or This is Nick, he got his nice red on right here. So he doesn't get run over by anybody that's spot the ball. We call him the kangaroo, this is the kangaroo. Right here. So I'm a left foot vertical drive. I never step lateral away from the third table. What does he do? He gets on the back side of my hip, makes him have to push me down, weak side line right play point. The left foot vertical step. Very quick. Go. Stop. That's it. That's it. Yeah, you know, I'm not throwing an interception to this guy. We're getting all the money on him. On tip for the camera. Carlos is going to throw on top of him all day. Carlos is going to throw all day. Have fun. You know, it's football. You know, it's a game these guys have been playing a long time. So we don't want to take the fun out of it. I mean, we want them to go out every day with energy, with juice. Uh, you know, you got the music playing. Uh, as coaches, we try not to coach them too much on the field, per se. By the time they hit the field, we want them to go out there and just run around, have fun with a lot of energy, and not worry about whether I'm making a mistake or whether I'm doing it right. We'll correct it in the classroom, but on the field, we want them to have fun and go. It all starts from the top, and I think, uh, I think Coach Elliott has the, the core principles that's going to build a winner, and he's surrounded himself with the, with the right people. We have a we have great men um, in, in our in our meeting rooms, and that are going to make a difference. And I think that's what it starts with. <laughs> I mean, again, it's bigger than X's and O's. Let's, what kind of quality people do you have, and and and, and can you trust them, and, and do they respect one another? Because you got to respect one another first before you can you know reach out to, to these young men. They're going through a test every single day. We don't have an opportunity to waste a day. So when they come in there, they've got to be focused. Uh, they've got to be mentally strong. They've got to uh, have a physical attitude about them. So when they take the field, we're not wasting a bunch of reps on a guy that doesn't have his heart into it uh, in these physical drills that we're doing. Uh, those guys have done a good job in, in doing that. And uh, as long as we continue to instill that in our players, then we're going to be we're going to be okay. Coach Elliott, he's a character. He pushes me. And, you know, we joke around every day. He's a very outgoing person, and so am I. So we just, we made a bond instantly. And uh, every day he pushes me and challenges me to try to be the best that I can be. Here you go. There you go, quit. Ah. Hey, you show why. Yes, I'm here. I'm here and left. Okay? Everybody's different. Everybody, you know, every, some people can run block really good, some people can't. Some can pass that really good, some people can't. So for me, this new coaching staff, we actually work on individual every day. It's called every days. I mean, we do footwork, we do pass sets, we do all the whole nine yards. So for me, it's kind of a night and day difference because I'm getting a lot better because I'm learning the footwork and the techniques that need to be used to get the job that I got to perform done. Take pride in what you do. Drive, 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 drive. 
Keep a wide base. Maintain a wide base. Wide base. Burst. Finish. Everything we do, we got to finish. Got to finish. Let the backer take the first inside guy. We'll take the first outside guy. The trail, he, the safety's got the point guy. So we still the same. Yeah, still the same. Yeah, still the same. And this was three. Second change. Three. Hey, we got escape from Baghdad right here. Escape from Baghdad. We got three drills going on. We got O line and D line right there with one linebacker right there, okay? We got tight ends and linebackers here in the second drill. Wide receivers and DBs. You got three plays to go 10 yards. Running back, you better get there. D line, you better stop them. That was a great day. Start passing, get the storm breaks right. down. Hey, finish on three, finish on three, one, two, three. Go, go, go. Let's do it, me. I'm like, hey, go. You know, if we give those guys a strong foundation that when they do go out in the world or, you know, come, come August when it's time to go play, those little things will be the things that will carry them through the ball games. Listen, I'm not going to give these guys options to fail. There's going to be days that aren't as good as others, but uh, they're not going to have that option. And we're going to push them and push them and push them to the point where they understand the importance of what we're trying to do. And you can call it tough love, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, that, that's it. I mean, that is the, the number one thing for us. At practice, we're really getting it. We're getting after one another. And the whole time we're out there, it's really up tempo and it's a grind. And that's something that, I mean, at the next level, you're working, that's, that's your job. I think that I need what I'm doing right now to get me ready for the next level so when I'm out there, I know the hard work I expect, what should be expected of me. I just feel like I was blessed with a skill set. I work at it, my work ethic is out of this world. You can ask any of my, my teammates and my players, I work and I have worked for everything I got. So I'm, and I'm confident in my abilities, I'm confident in the process and sticking to it. And there's no doubt in my mind that at the end of this season, I'll be, you know, one of the top corners in the country. Football is a fun game. It, it's a great game. It's, it, I can't imagine any other sport being as fun as football because just the 11-on-11 the 11 11 concept, the group of men that you have there, the big numbers, and uh, I mean, it's just uh, amazing. But I wanted them to know this was a fun game. And in order to go out and really put everything into something like that, you've got to have fun doing it. So that's our first thing. You know, our meetings can be stressful at times. They, they certainly can. But I told our coaches staff, we have got to make sure our players are enjoying themselves. They're having fun in meetings. We're having fun at practice. And, and not so much a bunch of laughing and giggling, but I don't want to see a bunch of down looks when they come in there and they just really don't want to be around us, so to speak. I want them to be energetic. I want them to attack the day like it's their last and, uh, and go out and enjoy the moment. And I think if you enjoy a game, you put so much more into it and uh, that leads to winning. It's nothing like having you know football teammates because football is a hard sport. So when you, when you get to endure and go through that process with people around you, it just makes y'all bond that much closer. Like my teammates, we, we basically family, and that's you know it sounds cliche, but that's the honest truth. We do everything together, or, you know, hanging out. If even outside of football, we're we're together, and it's really like family. I'll do anything for them; they'll do anything for us, and that's just, that's the truth. I mean, we have ping pong table, we have playstations, Xboxes. So where it used to be after practice, everyone goes. Well, now after practice, we're all in there like battling, whether it's on the system or whether you're playing a coach in ping pong. So. It's like everyone actually wants to be there and be involved. So I feel like we've came together a lot more than we have in the past. Just in there enjoying themselves. I mean, and our players see it. I mean, it's right there, just off the course of our, our locker room. And our players see that. I mean, you're going out and we're competing. It's a game, but it's a fun game. And they, I love to see those battles. A lot of fun. You kind of have to when you play a game like this, because anytime it becomes like a job, it, that's, that's not what you want. You want to have fun every chance we get. So we're always dancing, rapping, just doing anything we can to try to take our mind off football at times and just make it fun.
and I feel like our ceiling is is super high right now. I mean, I, I feel like we've got a lot of goals that we can attain um, as a coaching staff, as players, as far as the athletic department. I just really, you know, with Turner Field, that's a big part of it. You know, having your own place that you can make it yours. You know, I've seen programs play in different places, not just like the Georgia Dome, but there are some other programs that don't play in their own stadium, and I know how that affects you. So, you know, having your own home to play in, I mean, it's just, it's, it's exciting for us. And I mean, it's just an exciting time for us, and I just feel like, you know, there's so much energy and passion around the program that we don't have a choice but to be successful. I actually talked to Coach Elliott, and he's like, what's one of your goals, you know, reasonable goal? And I mean, you know, of course you want to say a uh, Sunbelt Conference Championship. Reasonably, yeah, it would be great. First year, I mean, you're kind of working winning season. We ain't had one of those. Winning season, that's a reasonable goal that I think we're going to reach for sure this year based off of, like, the way we've been working. We've never worked like that in the past. The hard work, just our playbook, everything that's coming together. I possibly see us going a long way as a program with the way we're working, with the coaching staff that we got. I love the most about being a part of something. This is a lot bigger myself. I mean, I want you to understand, those players are, are the backbone of our football program. And I love being around them. I love seeing the interaction. I love seeing them grow and develop as, as men and doing everything that we ask of them. And uh, not every day do they understand the concepts that we bring to them. And, uh, and they kind of shake their heads a little bit at times. But uh, at the end of the day, they'll, they'll look at it and, and uh, gain success from it. But I love being around those guys. I love being around our coaches. It's such an enjoyable thing to do to sit around a group of young men that share the same goals that you have, vision that you have. And then uh, when you walk in that team meeting room, seeing all the eyes just uh, really lifts your spirits and it makes for one, one heck of a day. Fast and physical, first of all, that, that's what we want to be known for. We want to be a tough bunch of guys that can go out there and play at a high level and a fast pace. And, uh, you know, that's how we practice every single day, and that's how we're going to go about practice every single day. We came a long way. It's been a process to see it from day one and to where it's coming now. It's taking over Turner Field and having our own stadium. That's exactly why I came here. I came here to help build a program. We made it to our first bowl game a couple of years ago, and we're just ready to get back to one this year and contend for the Sunbelt Championship. Hey,